Hi, my name is Ellen Nielsen and this is my presentation for KKP 609 and the title of my project at this point in time is Employability Strategies Used by Creative Industries Graduates. So in this presentation I'm briefly going to address the literature review as well as the research question and research design for my project. So the general topic of my research project is graduate employability, specifically looking at how creative industries graduates use employability strategies when navigating education to work transitions. In the literature review, we'll address these five key areas. So by outlining the labour market and government policy conditions which affect contemporary creative workers, and by discussing why employability is an ideal lens through which to analyse the labour market experiences of creative industries graduates, the following review of literature will show why it is beneficial to know more about how creative industries graduates navigate education to work transitions. So what do we already know from the literature? Well, we know that labour markets are changing in line with wider social change and have been quite dramatically for the past 20 to 30 years. Youth labour markets, particularly within Australia, are disproportionately affected by a number of issues such as work becoming increasingly fragmented and casualised, credential inflation, increased expectations from employers, skills gaps and an oversupply of graduates. The creative industries labour market has always been precarious, unstable, and recent research confirms this. Um, so we know from the research that working in the creative industries will involve, for most people, an above average amount of part-time and casual work, self-employment, work outside creative roles, and chronic unemployment and underemployment. This is an issue because enrolment, as the research shows, in creative industries courses is growing much faster than most other disciplines and enrolment is far outstripping employment growth in the creative industries. So in terms of the policy environment that influences labour markets and higher education, the creative industries have been identified as key areas of growth, so have received increased interest in recent years in Australia, as has ideas around growing knowledge, creativity and innovation in the general economy. The Australian government has also pushed for a larger proportion of the population to achieve higher education qualifications by 2025 and higher education policy both in Australia and in other Western countries has been concerned with building what they call graduate attributes and ensuring that graduates have skills that are relevant to the workforce. However, policy around just general economic policy as well as higher education has not given as much attention to encouraging jobs growth which utilises the skill sets that creative education fosters. So employability is an ideal lens through which to investigate how labour market issues are experienced and it refers to a person's relative position and opportunity within a labour market at a particular time. So a person's employability is influenced by a couple of different things, including their individual skills and knowledge, both discipline specific and generic skills, their ability to find and obtain work, wider workplace trends, government policy, how education is linked with the labour market, as well as the economic situation. So research has shown that in navigating labour markets and education to work transitions, People use a number of different employability strategies. These include pursuing higher education in itself, undertaking work experience, participating in personal development activities, building connections through networking, as well as creating a portfolio. Research has also shown that creative industries graduates are aware of some of the challenges that they will face in the labour market, given that this type of employment has always been kind of precarious and unstable, but that there are also big gaps in these students' knowledge of what they should expect when they go into the labour market. So looking at some of the gaps in the literature, most research around graduate employability 
is focused on destinations, so where graduates end up and whether or not they are in employment, generally six months to 12 months after graduation, and most of it is quantitative in nature. So it comes from census data or the graduate surveys. There is a lot less research looking at how graduates use and employ employability strategies in order to be employed, particularly in a qualitative sense. So existing studies that look at how graduates navigate education to work transitions generally have taken a descriptive approach on the full range of strategies that graduates use, rather than looking at how and why individual graduates choose and use certain strategies. So this is useful information to know for students and graduates as well as for institutions because students, higher education institutions and the economy all benefit from creative graduates having employment relevant to their discipline and because creative work is often part of the hidden job market in that it's not as obvious to people outside the industry or new people entering the workforce, knowing how past graduates have found work would be immensely helpful for new graduates as well as future graduates who may not be sure where to begin their job seeking process. Knowing which strategies were most useful for specific disciplines will also help graduates be more efficient during their education to work transitions and hopefully make the transition between education and work um, shorter in time. And analysing how creative graduates already navigate unstable and fragmented labour markets could be really useful for people pursuing work in other industries such as law, nursing and teaching which are increasingly unstable and fragmented. So therefore, the overarching research question which this thesis seeks to address is, in what ways do graduates of creative industries tertiary education use and attach value to employability strategies as a way of enhancing their employability during education to work transitions? So this project will use a mixed method approach of both quantitative and qualitative methods. The first method is a survey and the survey data comes from a previous project from one of my supervisors, the 2013-14 Creative Pathways Australian Creative Graduate Careers Survey, which surveyed people who graduated from creative industries courses in Australia between 2007 and 2012. And this survey includes questions directly related to this project, such as their employment history, the employability strategies those graduates engaged with during their education to work transitions, as well as their perceived employability. This project also wants to interview recent graduates, so people up to five years post-graduation of creative industries, tertiary education, to collect data around how they have used and attached value to employability strategies during their own experiences of navigating education to work transitions. So at this point, visual arts and animation are the chosen disciplines that I will be interviewing graduates from as these are both disciplines known to produce more graduates than there are discipline-specific employment opportunities. Animation is also a relatively new discipline, so should be a way to get some interesting new data. And I will be interviewing, as you can see on the table, from universities and TAFEs and registered training organisations, and at least 15 graduates from each of those categories for each of the disciplines. As this is a PhD by publication, I will need to submit at least three publications. The first paper will involve a regression analysis of data from that survey using the QUT sample of data and papers two and three and perhaps more papers will be drawn from the interview data exploring how graduates use employability strategies during education to work transitions and up to five years post-graduation. Because this project involves human subjects, I will need to get ethical approval before I conduct any of the interviews. And here is a draft timeline for my project. And that concludes my project. Thank you.